quadrilaterals. Consider both the angles and the sides when classifying quadrilaterals. To be a quadrilateral, you just need any four-sided polygon. The first thing you want to look at is the sides to see if any of them are parallel. If only one is parallel, then we call it a trapezoid. If you have two sets of parallel sides, we call it a parallelogram. Once you have a parallelogram, you look at the angles and the sides again. Looking at the sides, if all four sides are congruent, we call it a rhombus, and we might mark the sides with these little marks to say that they are um, congruent or equivalent. Then look at the angles. If all four angles are congruent, and for quadrilaterals that means they would have to be 90 degrees, then you can say that you have a rectangle. If both the sides and the angles are congruent, then you have a square. A square is considered the regular quadrilateral because it has both congruent sides and congruent angles. To help you remember these, remember parallelogram has the word parallel in it, so both sides are parallel. The rhombus, the only way that I can think of that one is there are four equal tires on a bus, four equal um, sides on a rhombus. Rectangle has the word angle in it, so you know all four angles are the, side, are the same. And then square, of course, you've known since you were little. Another little trick is you are everything above you. Also for the trapezoid, if you decide that you have a trapezoid, you are trapped. You're over here all by yourself. You won't ever be a, any of these other things because rhombus, rectangle, and square have to be parallelograms. When classifying, just think through the definitions of each one. For example, this is a quadrilateral because it has four sides. This is a, not a trapezoid because it does not have um, one set of parallel sides. It's not a parallelogram because it does not have two sets of parallel sides. Once you get past those, then you know it can't be the others. Over here we have a quadrilateral again, four-sided figure. It's not a trapezoid because it only has, because it doesn't have just one set of sides that are parallel. It is a parallelogram because both sets are parallel. A rhombus would need four equal sides, so that doesn't work. A rectangle would need four congruent angles, so that doesn't work. So the most specific name for this one would be a parallelogram. This one down here, let's see, it would be a quadrilateral because it has four sides. It would be a trapezoid because it has one pair of parallel sides. So the most specific name for that would be a trapezoid. Quadrilaterals, the sum of their angles will be 360 degrees in all quadrilaterals. You should use your knowledge of quadrilaterals, not your protractor, to find the missing angles. For example, this means that this is a right angle or 90 degrees. You have three of the four angles here. You would add those up, 75, 90, and 115. Adding those, 10, 18, 280 degrees. Now there's 360 in every quadrilateral, so 360 minus 280 gives us 80 degrees. So the missing angle is 80 degrees. Now this one looks like it might be harder, but one neat thing about parallelograms is the opposite angles in a parallelogram are equivalent. So if this one's 180 degree, 100, excuse me, 105 degrees, so is this one. Now we've got two more angles, and they will be congruent. So what we want to do is add up the ones we have, 105 and 105. So right now we have 210 degrees. Subtract that from 360, and we have 150 degrees. Now we know that these are equivalent, so we're going to divide by 2. And we now we know that each angle is 75 degrees. And 75 degrees over here.